What's up guys? Um, we are sitting here waiting for our chocolate peanut butter balls cooling off in the fridge. So in the meantime, we figured we would do husband and wife tag number two. Question number one, <laughs> apparently, number one. How many children did I want before marriage? I know you wanted two. You've always wanted two and no more. Uh, wasn't it like three or four? Three. Okay, yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah, well, I always wanted two. Yeah, and I'm kind of changing my mind now. I think two is enough. <laughs> I think two kids are plenty to provide for, but I've always said that if we feel like we have the energy and the money and the time to have a third one, then yes. Now, this is an interesting one. What does my family think of you? They love me so much. They adore yeah. the shit out of me. Um, and it was really <laughs> cool. Like, going over there, I was, like, scared of, like, the language barrier and all that. And, uh... Yeah, I just started cooking for them and being honest and open with them, telling them about my past and everything. And uh, yeah, I want them over pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I love them too, by the way. So. Yeah. <laughs> and what does your family think about me? Well, I live with half of your family. I live with your dad, your grandma, and your brother. Yeah. And I think they like me. Yes. They probably find me pretty annoying sometimes when I uh, well, boss them around about certain things. But we like to get the house in order, keep yeah. it in order, and have order around here. And I don't I feel get like that. It, I don't feel like it's been cleaned since your grandma. Well, probably. Uh, it's, it's just a house full of a bunch of dudes, you know, and no one wants to clean the fucking toilet, and it's just like yeah, grandma's too old yeah. to do that. So I keep the kitchen pretty clean, though. You do. Uh, you um, always clean after, like when we did the peanut butter balls. Now you always cleaned as. You I like to clean as I go because then it's like then you don't have this big shithole pile of a mess in the sink and you get overwhelmed and then it's like three days later and it's caked on there and then you got to buy new dishes and. Yuck. I like to clean as I go. Yeah. So. Okay, we're back. Nick needed a beer break. <laughs> what do my friends think of you? My friends love you. And the funny thing is that only really one of my friends have ever met you. Sophie has met you once. One she only time. has one friend, so... No, that's not true. <laughs> but I do have Anna, way down south in Sweden, who I haven't even seen in years. So, uh, you know. But we're trying to make that happen for you to meet her and for me to meet her again next summer. Yeah. And Hopefully that'll happen, yeah. What do your friends think of me? My friends think a couple of them. <laughs> now, to my knowledge, they all love her, okay? And a lot of them actually see her as like a sister, uh, including my brother, too. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of my friends really, really love her. A I lot. love all your friends. And they're my yeah, friends. They're now. like family, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have yeah. a ton of great friends here. If it wasn't for them, like, they've become my family here. So, um, Honestly, that's helped a yeah. lot. To my knowledge, I don't think any of my friends, like, completely hate her or any of Not that. Not completely, but just a little bit. <laughs> for, for good reasons. No! <laughs> I'm joking. What is my worst habit? <laughs> What's your worst habit? Oh, my God. There are several, <clears throat> probably, that you can think of. So when I cook her like really amazing food or, and I'm too lazy and I just go to Taco Bell, um, we're sitting there watching a movie and she just makes these weird noises, like <laughs> repetitive, like kind of OCD noises. Like, Cause I have OCD. She's like eating. She's like, mm, mm, or mm, it's mm. also because sometimes the food is so damn good. Yeah. I and I get myself. that. I do that. Maybe once. <laughs> yeah, but I do it all the time, and I don't think she about doesn't even it. know that she's doing it. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's really, annoying. really fucking annoying. And it, it annoys <clears throat> me too. Yeah, it annoys and me too. Um, also, I have another one. Sorry. Um, her goddamn shower shoes are, oh, yeah. are always right in front of the closet doors. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah. With socks. Right in front of my closet side of the doors. So when I want to get well, a that's T-shirt both out. Of our yeah. Well, closet. it doesn't bother you. No. I gotta kick her fucking shoes out of the way all the time. Anyways, I love her. and um, <laughs> Good. I'm glad you made that clear, honey. Hey, at least that's the one thing that bothers me. Yeah. yeah. Um, what bothers me about you? Yes, definitely the smoking, the cigarettes. Um, I know that um, he has gotten through a lot of addictions in his life that he's gotten rid of, and I'm very, very proud of him for it, because a lot of that happened even before I came into the picture. But um, the cigarettes is the last big battle that you need to fight, <laughs> according to me. But if he's not ready, then nothing's going to happen. So 
that's up to him at the end of the day. Um, it's weird though because I used to like the smell of cigarette smoke. I've never liked smoking ever, but the smell of it when I met you, I loved it. So I had no issue with <laughs> being a smoker, so except for the health reasons, of course. It's not nostalgic to you anymore. No, <laughs> no I don't know what happened, but lately, like in the last year, I've just had the biggest problem with cigarettes, smoke, and smell. I don't like it anymore, and it makes me cough. I don't like it. So that's one big one. Yeah, that's kind of like why I invested in marrying a non-smoker because then it's like invested in me <laughs> okay um in the stock market <laughs> oh, fuck. hold on hold on hold on that's not what i meant to say um you know i know what you mean it was great when i found out that you didn't smoke yeah because i was like well fucking that's awesome she won't be stealing them from me and it's, you know, I could potentially quit, you yeah, know, uh, a lot Probably. easier. And um, it's it's cool, you know. Uh, I like that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what is my best habit? Your best you habit? You better think hard now. Oh, shit. Um, well... The what only, is my best habit? The only reason why I'm hesitating is because I, there's just so many that I just don't know what. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, I really like your efficiency. I really like your efficiency. Uh, you're always organized. You always have things in line. And Thanks to my OCD. <laughs> yeah, like, well, like I, I, I'm an organized person, but not in that sense. Like, if I have, like, um, a doctor's appointment or something, like, I know what day it is, but I don't know exactly what time, and that's usually typically pretty helpful. And um, I know what I need at the store, but she has this strategic list of everything, and then she goes into the phone and then deletes the things that, that we just got out of the thing, and it's... And sometimes I even go as far as organizing it from where I know the bread is, and the water, and whatever we need. And she's I just got... I it in that order. She's got this... <laughs> This uh, a Facebook Messenger where she only writes to herself <laughs> and she tells herself every little thing, like even quotes that I come up with yeah, that are hilarious. Cute. And and then she just like notes it and messages it to herself in Facebook. And I'm gonna you know what? Those things. That is one of her best habits because uh, I let a lot of shit just just go, you know, and I don't remember stuff. And you know, I got her uh, taking pictures of everything all the time, videos, memories. She's got everything just from the last three years that we've been together um, that we can now look back on. And, and me, I'll take a picture of her maybe like twice in two months, you know? So it's like... It's... And I don't like asking for him to take a picture. Well, because then it's not in the moment. Yeah, you know? I want like... it to look natural. So like all my photos are like me like, hi, yeah. <laughs> posing. But you're getting better at that. Okay, maybe well, whatever. Uh, enough about you. I want to hear what, what's my best. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let me think, because um, we do have a lot of really, really, really good habits. I'm thinking about habits. Could that be like a personality thing, or is it just... yeah, like a like a uh, what's your best trait? You okay. know what I mean? Like, um, what yeah. what what's your favorite thing that he does, or you know, what's the what's one of the best things about me? Okay, well, there it could be anything. Like, I'm funny. I'm hot. You know, none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there are a ton of really, really, really good things, but I think the number one thing that I really appreciate that I know not everyone have in their relationships, which is really bad to not have in your relationship. What is it? It's honesty. I know that every single person who's ever met Nick knows how honest he is, and good or bad, I think that they appreciate it, like because he's going to call you out on anything that he does not feel is right, just like he's going to tell you all the good things about you. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You're, I don't, I don't deal with shit. I'm super no. blunt. and yeah, um, blunt. You know, I can be really encouraging because uh, I like to surround myself around good people. Yeah. So, you know, of course, if they're doing anything, um, I, I want them to shine. You know, I let them know it. And, and you know, I really like uh, when people listen to me, you know, so it's like I want to give that back. Um, and I really like that, you know. And if someone's being an asshole around me, then I'll let them know that too. Yeah. Because that's important because otherwise people are going to keep doing what they're doing and we're just at the age now where we don't 
we hang out with people who we feel are too much drama. And so we call them out on stuff like that because we used to have, I mean, so many parties where there was so much drama and so many fights and arguments, not necessarily between us and others, but other people would start arguing yeah. and fighting at our parties. And yeah, it's like, dude, we're not what, down with that anymore. What do you think the shit is? You we're know? getting too like, old. We want kids. We want a family. We can't have people like that around us. So I appreciate that your honesty is always that. And he's not scared of confrontation. I'm not super scared of that either, but I'm a lot more hesitant. I don't like it. It's I don't like it either. It's but, not, you're, but you're more brave about it. You, it's not something I go looking for. No. <laughs> but, but you know, you're somebody's more... got to set the record straight sometimes. Yes. Like, people can do this all they want, but, you know, it's like, I'm not saying go around punching everybody in the face, no. but, you know, like, I can be pretty intimidating when I want to be, yeah. you know, but I don't want to be seen as that person only. Like, it's like, no. but I'm not going to put up a shit either. Like, Nobody wants to put up a shit, you know? And I don't want to see her having to put up a shit. Or, like, other friends that get pushed around by other people. Like, yeah. And then there, some sometimes people just aren't strong enough, you know? And nobody likes confrontation. But you know what? I'm always going to be there for the people that I love, no matter what. And whenever you do feel like you have gone too far, because you do have your Italian temper. And so whenever you have gone too far and you feel like, oh, my gosh, I totally overreacted. That was ridiculous. Do you say it? You fess up and you say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not fucking perfect. Like, no. <laughs> I know how to help people, but I'm not... But that's the thing, though. You're honest, too, when it's about saying you're sorry. Because saying sorry is sometimes harder than calling out people out on stuff. Yeah. And so a lot of people can't go up to someone and be like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, that was stupid of me. But you do that. You always do that. And so that's a really good habit. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Um, I can answer that easily right now. Nobody. Mm -mm. Uh, or, well, okay, yeah, so I guess we're both naked. Because nobody's wearing the pants. <laughs> and we both just kind of agree on certain things, you know? And the majority of the time, it's common sense to not set each other off in certain ways. We know what we like and, and dislike. Yeah, that's just point. about us being humans. That's not about being manly or, you know, female yeah. or, you know, the woman in the kitchen or whatever. It's like, I think that who wears the pants in the family, it's like... Yeah, like... In the relationship, it's kind of a ridiculous, non... Very, not a very modern way of thinking. Yeah. No, so uh, either we're both naked or we're both wearing pants.